वेलकम टू द कोर्स ऑन कंप्यूटर नेटवर्क्स इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट एरर डिटेक्टिंग कोर्स देर आर टू टाइप्स ऑफ एरर डिटेक्टिंग कोर्स पैरिटी बिट एंड साइकलिक रिडेंडेंसी चेक इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट पैरिटी बिट एज अ एरर डिटेक्टिंग कोर्स मोटिवेशन बिहेंड द टॉपिक इज to achieve error free transmission to ensure reliable delivery of frames to the destination the goal for this topic is not to eliminate all the errors but to detect bit errors so that receiver can either discard the message or may request for the retransmission from the sender how it works and what is the cost for error detecting and error correcting codes error correcting codes includes large number of redundancy bits while error detecting codes includes only enough redundancy bits error detecting code includes the enough redundancy bits to allow the receiver to deduce that an error occurred This mechanism is used for highly reliable channels such as copper and fiber. Let us talk about the design issues for error detecting and error correcting codes. To design a code that can detect the single bit errors, the minimum Hamming distance for the set of code words must be d plus one, and for error correcting codes. the minimum hamming distance for the set of code words must be 2d plus 1 so it indicates that the cost of error correcting code is higher than error detecting codes it is cheaper to use error detecting codes as the cost is only to retransmit the message again there are two methods parity bits and cyclic redundancy check what is parity bit a parity bit is a bit appended to a string of binary code to ensure the total number of ones in the string are either even or odd there are two variations for the parity bit even parity and odd parity even parity indicates that the total number of ones in the message including parity bit are one and odd parity indicates that the total number of ones in the message and parity bit are odd we know code word n is written as a m plus r where m is the message and r is the parity bit for example message m is 1011010 which is 7 bit how to calculate parity bit for it as message consists of even number of ones the parity bit for this message would be zero therefore the code word would be 10110100 where 8 bit is added as a parity bit and the value of that bit is zero to make it as a even parity message for the same message if we wish to make it as a odd parity then one will be appended to make odd number of ones therefore code word would be 10110101 let us look at a example for even parity suppose host a wants to transmit a message 1010 host a computes the parity bit value by taking mod 2 in this case it is 0 host a adds parity bit 0 to make even parity and sends the message 101010 where last 0 is the parity bit host b receives 10100 host b computes overall parity and 
result is zero. Host B reports correct transmission after observing expected E1 result. So in this case, E1 parity matches at the receiver side, hence transmission is correct. Whenever there is error in the message at that time, parity will not match and it is the indication that one of the bit from the message is inverted. Example for odd parity. Host A wants to transmit 1100. It computes the parity by taking mod 2. It is 0. But to make odd parity message, host A adds parity bit 1 and makes it as odd parity and sends the message as 11001. Host B receives 11001. Host B computes the overall parity, result is 1. Host B reports correct transmission after observing expected odd results. So here, sender has sent the message with the odd parity and at the destination also, it computes odd parity as a 1. It means that there is no error during the transmission. Let us see about the transmission error. Suppose A transmits 1010 by computing E1 parity value 0. So the transmitted string is 10100. Assume that bit error happens during the transmission and B receives the message 10110. B computes the overall parity. It is expected to be 0 but it is 1 in this case. Therefore, B reports incorrect transmission after observing unexpected odd result. Let us look at the transmission error for odd parity. A wants to transmit 1100. It computes the parity bit value. It is 0 again. A adds the parity bit 1 to make odd parity and sends the message 11001. I assume that bit error occurs during the transmission and B receives the message 11011. B computes the overall parity. It is 0. B reports incorrect transmission after observing unexpected even result because message was transmitted with the odd parity and for the correct message it should be odd parity at the receiver. It is to be noted that parity bit is used for the detection of single bit error only. It can be extended for odd number of errors, but it cannot detect the two errors. For example, A wants to transmit 1001, A computes the parity, even parity in this case and sends the message 10010. Assume that bit error occurs during the transmission and B receives the message 11011. Here there are two corrupted bits, but B computes the overall parity and result is 0. Therefore B reports correct transmission though actually incorrect. So this is the good example to indicate that that parity bit mechanism cannot detect two errors. Initially it was said that to detect D single bit errors the minimum hamming distance for the set of code words must be D plus 1. So let us look at the example sender Sender is sending message M equal to 10110110 with E1 parity. So it will transmit 10110100. Suppose B has received the message 10010110. It will calculate the parity and parity value will be 1. If we observe the message which was sent by the sender 
was 10, 110, 100, including parity bit. And the message at the receiver is 10, 10, 101, including the parity. After calculating the Hamming distance, it shows Hamming distance is 2. Here, there is a single bit error, but Hamming distance is 2. Because along with the single bit error, it changes the value of parity also. So it becomes 2 and it proves that to detect single bit error, there must be a Hamming distance of D plus 1 between the codes. The field applications for parity bits are SCSI and PCI buses, I cache, serial interfacing using RS232, UART universal asynchronous receiver transmitter, again it is used in case of serial communication, red redundant array of independent disks where it uses one of the drive as a dedicated parity drive. Thank you for watching this video.